What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode, we take a look at the Kramer Vanguard and a one-year update. you guys today we're taking a look at my kramer vanguard the dave mustaine rust in peace kind of you know alien tech green and uh so this was a gift from my wife a year ago and uh, i did a 30-day update already and you know i just thought we would go ahead and kind of talk about the guitar and uh yeah we'll just go over it really quickly so the specs for those who don't know uh we have a mahogany body and a mahogany neck uh, it's an ebony fretboard we have Grover Mini Rotomatic Tuners, a Graph Tech Nut. They are not stainless steel. It's uh, nickel, I believe. Uh, Jumbo frets. There's 24. Uh, the pickups are good. These are the Seymour Duncan Dave Mustaine Signature Set. They are the Thrash Factor Set. Incredible sounding. It sounds incredible. We'll do some playthroughs and stuff like that. <laughs> And then we have uh, the CTS pots. Uh, I did change out my knobs. I also changed the wiring just a little bit. Uh, so we have, by default, Dave does the neck, the volume, the three-way toggle, and then a master tone. I changed mine out. I like my bridge pickup to be first. So it's bridge, neck, three-way toggle, and then the master tone. But I may actually drill it out and swap these two. Uh, that way it's the bridge, the toggle, the neck, and then the tone. We'll see. I don't know. It's still a work in progress. But um, yeah, so generic uh, tunematic bridge. I don't know what brand it is. Nothing's you know labeled on it. But we have CTS pots. And when I was doing the wiring, I found out that the three-way toggle and the jack plate are actually not Switchcraft. Uh, I don't know if they were when I bought it originally. I don't remember if I had looked at it or if I was reading off of the spec sheet. But they are generic. They're not Switchcraft. So I was kind of let down about that. But we do have CTS branded pots for the electronics. So that's somewhat good to know. Let's, let's kind of talk about it. So I've had it a year now. I've had a lot of people play it and borrow it. And uh, it's a great guitar. It, it's fun to play. It sounds incredible. Um, the biggest complaint outside of the dots, and I will always complain about that because I really think they dropped the ball on that. Aesthetically, it does not fit. You know, Dave Mustaine's always had either Shark Tooth or the Wings. Uh, even the Epiphone has the Wings on it. And I think that really should have been on this one. Uh, but outside of that, um, the biggest real thing that I've had happen to the guitar since I've owned it was the nut had popped off. Uh, as you can see here on the headstock, you know, you have these high, high strings are pulling real sharply in that direction. So there's a lot of tension kind of pushing that direction. And I came home one day and noticed that it was gone. 
So once I found the nut, I cleaned up the, the poly or the uh, little slot for it and found that there was no glue when it was installed. So it was just purely held in place by tension. Uh, maybe it got missed, but um, yeah, I don't know. So I actually had to glue it in place with some CA glue. Uh, originally it was, which could have explained why I felt the nut was not centered. Uh, I know that was something I had talked about originally. And uh, outside of that, this thing has been solid, man. It was 1400 bucks, so 1399 when it first came out. As of today, it is September of 2024. They are $1,000. It's been a $300 price cut. You get all of this incredible stuff plus a custom hard shell case for $1,000. That, that's a deal all day long. Um, yeah, I think it should have been $1,000 at the beginning. Uh, to me, that's a money grab when, when they do that. They drop it like that, especially in that time frame. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So that's what I think. It's been a year. Still a solid guitar. I would buy it all day long at a thousand bucks. And yeah, that's that's it, man. It's been a great guitar. Oh, I'll tell you what. One other thing. I think I've already talked about it in the past, but the, uh, the string plate. Uh, it's got some stains on it that still won't come out. I've polished it as much as I can, and they just won't come out. And I know I talked about it, but um, at the beginning, see if I can show you here. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You can see it right there. None of that will come off. I've tried all kinds of stuff to get it to go away. Will not happen. And if you look closely, uh, the top three strings, the holes do not match up. So that's kind of a bummer as well. But uh, outside of that, you're, now you're kind of getting into like the little nitty gritty stuff that you can nitpick about. And that's where like, you know, does cost really outweigh? something that minor that small it is what it is uh it doesn't affect the playability any of the guitar is fine you know it's just small things like that for a thousand dollars i'd expect it fourteen hundred dollars that you know my wife originally paid now you're kind of getting up there that's an extra four hundred dollars that uh qc should have been a little tighter but anyways thanks for watching tell me in the comments below what you guys thought i'll see you on the next one